ligaments of the ankle are complex. Injury to these ligaments are called ankle sprains. A sprain of the ankle is usually a low ankle sprain, but occasionally may be a high ankle sprain. Sprains of the ankle can be confused with other conditions around the ankle, such as an osteochondral lesion, perineal tendon subluxation, fracture of the lateral Taylor process. Anterior process fracture of the calcaneus or a high syndesmotic injury. Here are a few tests that are used to check for injury to these ligaments. If the patient cannot bear weight on the ankle, the patient should get an x-ray. Injury to the deltoid ligament occurs on the medial side of the ankle joint and is usually associated with fracture. Injury to the lateral side ligaments is referred to as a low ankle sprain. The anterior talofibular ligament is the weakest ligament on the lateral side. The anterior drawer test is done to test the competency of the anterior talofibular ligament. The test is done in 20 degrees of plantar flexion and compare it to the other side. A shift of an absolute value of 9 mm on the lateral x-ray or 5 mm compared to the other side is positive. The calcaneofibular ligament is usually injured after the talofibular ligament. The test used to diagnose a sprain of the calcaneofibular ligament is the Taylor tilt test. Less than 5 degrees of tilt is usually normal. The final area of injury is the syndesmosis. Injury to this area is referred to as a high ankle sprain. Contrary to a low ankle sprain, a high ankle sprain may require surgery. This is how injury to the syndesmosis occurs. Always check the fibula proximally to avoid missing a masonew fracture. Here are the two tests used to diagnose a high ankle sprain. The squeeze test is the first test used to diagnose a high ankle sprain. By squeezing the tibia and fibula at the mid-calf, this causes pain at the syndesmosis if a high ankle sprain is present. The external rotation stress test is the other test used to diagnose a high ankle sprain. How do you perform the test? First, place the ankle into a neutral position. Apply external rotation stress. And finally, get a Mortise View radiograph. There is a positive result for syndesmotic injury if the tibiofibular clear space is more than 5 mm. There is also a positive result if the medial clear space widening is more than 4 mm. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.